Oh, oh shit, that's screaming. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ah. I went to see my doctor this morning for my annual checkup. You know, they take your blood pressure, right? And my blood pressure was good, except for now it's not. Welcome back, everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go out and do some more random POIs and continue looking for research data. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of inventory management here and melting a few things down for resources. And uh, let's see, we have uh, we have some stuff in here, too, that we could sell, but I don't know, maybe let's melt. That stuff's not going to really be worth a whole lot of money. Um, so let's melt these items down as well. Those, yeah, those are worth a little bit of money. I'll, I'll repair this stuff too. These aren't worth anything to speak of. That's not really worth a whole lot. And none of this cloth stuff is, or that won't be either. The steel boots, yeah, those are worth quite a bit. Um, and let's grab that to this. Yeah, that's worth quite a bit of money. The peacekeeper there. I think everything else is probably going to be worth fixing up and selling. Uh, so we get scrap steel from that stuff, not normal steel. So we'll just melt all that stuff down. Um, let's put. Okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, put that back in there. I'm going to put this away here. And as soon as that's done, we'll turn this off. Okay, pull all of that stuff out of there. Most of this is going to go in there. Some of it's going to go in here. Uh, this too. And see, so you were making some bullet casings for us, so let's grab those. Oh, heavy. Heavy, man, heavy. Uh, just a little PSA for you guys. I am starting today, which is April 20th. Uh, I'm on vacation for um, until the 27th. Um, so I'm taking some vacation days from work. And uh, part of what I'm, uh, I'm going to be home, but what I'm going to, what I need to do is I need to get my house ready because my father's going to come and uh, live with my wife and I for a little while. So, um, I might not get another seven days video out to you guys between now and then. We'll see how things go. Uh, but I, I kind of need to, I'm not taking a break from the channel, but I, I, I need to focus on getting the house ready, which means I'm going to have, I'm going to have less time uh, to, to work on all of these series. Uh, so I might get another video out between now and the 27th, um, or I might not. I'll, I'll, we'll just see how things go, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up. So if you don't see any more seven days content from me, uh, you know, for that next week, um, you know why. Okay. Um, so that being said, what are we doing? We are trying to put some stuff away over here. We got all these bullet casings. Come here, Roberta. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, and let's see, the armor stuff goes in here, I think. Yep, there we go. All right, so I think we got everything put away. Uh, I do need to go out and get some more titanium, too, so that needs to happen at some point, but I don't think we'll do that in this episode. And I'm not going to take on another Tier 5 for now either, just because it takes such a long time to do. So again, we'll just do some random POIs and continue looking for research data. Speaking of which... I do have, um, I do have 639 research data. So, as far as what's in here, I, I wanted to learn the superior repair kit, but you know what? I don't think we actually need the kit itself to do that. And I want to learn steroids because I don't actually know how to make steroids. Uh, the ones that we do have, we get from just looting uh, drops from Zomba Doodles. So we got this Oleana's map too. You know what? Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll look at that, and then I wanted to make chili dogs. Um, so let's do this. Let's look at the steroids and see what it takes. That takes one beaker, one steroid, and ten paper. Do I have a beaker? I might, actually. 
think we found a beaker or two not too long ago. Or did we? Or did I use them? I don't see them in there. What about in here? Not in here either. Maybe we we must have used them to upgrade the chemistry bench, I'm thinking. Don't think I would have put them. I wouldn't have put them in here deliberately. Sometimes I accidentally put stuff where it doesn't go. Um, this would be the most likely place that I would have that I would store it if I had it. So maybe we don't have a beaker, which means we need to go find another one then, uh, or buy one from a trader. Either either way is fine. Uh, the only other place that I might have put it is either in here, which I didn't, possibly in there, or in here. And they're not in any of those places. Okay. So, uh, what does it take to make a, a superior repair kit? We... Do we know how to make that already? Oh, that's right. These repair kits take impact drivers. And I that's that's been a very rare find in this playthrough for me is the is the impact drivers. Um yeah, these things. Um okay, so See, the thing is is I thought I already knew how to make normal repair kits. Cuz I could have sworn we've made them before. Yeah, okay, so I can make normals and I could make advanced repair kits. But I can't make superior. Uh or can I? I'm confused. Yeah, I think I can because if I couldn't wouldn't it have, like, the little professor guy on there? But this says I don't know repair kits, but I, I know I've made repair kits before. Unless that changed, you know, with an update, because it's been a long time since I've made any repair kits. Repair kit. Yeah, that's the... Uh, yep, that's it. Okay, so I, I think it must have been a situation where... He changed something in an update, and now I, I need to learn the blueprint for it. But, I mean, we have uh, we have six repair kits, just normal repair kits, as it as it stands. Um, so, okay, well, let's not worry too much about that. Let's take a look at an upgrade. So, we we lucked out and got our, our M60 upgrade uh, just by finding it. I use the shotgun an awfully lot, so um, an awful lot rather. Uh, so how much, or what would we need to upgrade this? We're like short one military fiber to upgrade this to a superior class shoddy. Um, the other thing we might want to consider though is I've got this peacekeeper shotgun and I've got the Vindicator, but these both are lower level um, than, you know, than the, just the vanilla one that I've been using for a long, long time. So of these two, the Vindicator, the D level Vindicator is actually more powerful than the purple Peacekeeper. This looks more like a, you know, just a traditional hunting pump shotgun, whereas this looks more like a military or a police grade shotgun. So this would upgrade, I think, to B level. Um, just out of curiosity, what would it take to upgrade this? Oh no, C level. That's not expensive, really, to do. Um, how close? I think we already know we don't need the Peacekeeper at all, so let's just put that in the for sale. The for sale uh, thingy there. Uh, all right, so if we compare these two, um, so our current shotgun at, at A level does 19.6 more damage, but the Vindicator, even at D level, is better magazine fire rate and range-wise.
And I think the plus 44 is just what it's doing with the mods. I think the 19.6 is its base damage. I always get confused about that. Let's just take all this stuff off for a second and compare it. Yeah, so it's still 19.6. Um, if we upgraded the Vindicator to see... Um, we got an 80% upgrade chance. What? Okay, what do we need? We need books and shotgun parts. Let's just do it at least one level and see how, how much it goes up. See if it's significant. We've got shotgun parts there. And we got books in here. Okay, so we got that to C. Now, let's just see how much better it is now. 11.9. Okay, so that added a decent amount of damage to that sucker. Um, what if we take it up to B, which is in is purple in this mod? That means we're going to have to make some more motor oil. And for that, we need cans. we got plenty of, of, of the other stuff. Let's take it up one more level, and then we'll kind of assess if it's worth it to keep going. Oh, wow, I'm, like, really low on, on cans here. We're gonna have to really be hanging on to those when we find them. Um, actually, I can probably make cans. I'll betcha. Um, all right. Why? Oh, because I need to put fuel in there. That's why. All right. Let's just make some of those. For cans, if I can make them, it probably. Yeah, we can make cans. Okay. So that's good to know. All right, so we'll we'll upgrade the Vindicator one more level, and then we'll see how close it is to uh, to the pump. It certainly is badass looking, man. All right, how many more uh, oils did we need for that? Okay, are we gonna? Yeah, we'll get 10 more out of here. Okay. Okay, 75% chance. We did it. Nice. Okay, so now let's compare the purple Vindicator to this. So this is only 5.4 damage more. But this has three more in the magazine. A little bit faster fire rate and a little bit better range. Not that either one of those things are significantly better. Um, Let's take a look at it. Oh, this is thing. This thing's cool looking, man. Yeah, I think let's go with it. Let's just do it because we can. I know it's not. It this is still the better weapon overall. You know what? The other thing though, we're sacrificing is a mod slot. Um. Well, I mean, okay. What would it take to pop this up to A? We we could get more shotgun parts. I'd have to make a whole bunch of cans. This is going to be the hard thing. However, can we make military fiber? We can. We have to do that in the chem bench. What's that take? How many can we make? We can make five. Um... And then we could make more duct tape if we needed to. Um, can I? Yeah, I can pin it. Okay. So let's see. 20 more steel is not a problem. Um, oh, we must have just been out of range for the steel. Forty oil is going to be the the ma the big pain in the butt to do that. Okay, well I'll tell you what. Let's stop here as far as the upgrading goes, and um, I'll work on accumulating more cans, or either that, or I'll just make a bunch more cans. And we should be we should be good. Yeah, we're good on cloth. And I think we're pretty good on glue, so we can make a bunch more duct tape and or make more glue. So what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll work on getting those materials uh, put together 
and then we can take this up to the next level. Um, I have been so, uh, for the most part, I should say, um, unsuccessful. Oh, I guess we have the same amount of mod slots. Never mind. Okay, that's good. Uh, in finding in finding high level weapons, and now we did find, you know, the superior M60, which was just amazing. But that's a really rare occurrence uh, in this game. So. We really kind of, if we want to get the best weapons, we're going to really have to probably go the upgrade path for a lot of these. All right, so let's put that stuff in there. And yeah, we'll try we'll try this weapon out for a little bit. It's, it's a li not quite as good as what we had, but it's still pretty darn good. And we'll just, you know, mix things up a little bit and have some fun with it. All right, so we can't do the steroids until we find another beaker so we really need to keep our eyes peeled for a beaker um let's just keep that research data in the books in there now uh what's the chili dog require see that takes 200 research data and 10 paper um let's just get it done that way we have it Okay, so we will research the chili dog, and I can come back for that later. Now, the other thing, you know, we can and should do is we can buy, uh, from the traders, we can buy a bunch of research data too, but, I mean, if we're going to hit a POI at all today, we don't have time to do that and go hit all the traders, so we'll do that. Hit, you know, do the hit the trader thing later. Um, let's go ahead and pop this right now, though. We might as well. Okay, so that map is off that direction. Uh, oh no, that's not the right direction. Okay, hold on, where, where is it? Looking for the treasure chest on the compass. We could just go here and make this the active, toggle active. And where's the... Oh, that's kind of cool how that lights up there. And show on map. Oh, it's right near where our titanium mine was. Okay. Our, that's a, that's all mined out, though, as far as, at least as far as titanium itself goes. Um, okay. Well, why don't... Whoa. I guess it's kind of getting towards nighttime, isn't it? So, not that that's going to stop us. Um, where is... I was going to say, that that goes there. I don't know why what I did with that, or why I had that somewhere else. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. I was going to make myself some more steel crossbow bolts. I think we finally found that magazine, didn't we? Let's take a look. Um, crossbow bolt steel. That takes feathers and plastic and sticks. Okay. Man, it sure got dark fast. All right, let's grab, say, like 50 sticks. And we'll grab some plastic. And we'll make ourselves 50 steel crossbow bolts. It's a beautiful thing. We're, we're getting low-ish on plastic, too. Um, I want to put this honey in here. And actually, let's grab, grab the honey and save the herbal antibiotics since they're more valuable uh, the blood bag the blood bag actually goes in here let's pop this meat stew that'll give us both hydration and food And, all right. 
So we'll just grab a few of the, more of these crossbow bolts and then we'll take off and go do some night raiding. We'll wait for these to finish. Oh, I've got a, a drug turd in my inventory too. Um, we already have two purples. So this junk turret we will fix up and sell. Oh man, I have a whole bunch of crap in here too. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, um let me deal with this. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the the northeastern town. Whoops. That's in the oh, can't believe I just did that. That's in the forest. <laughs> Son of a bitch. At least we didn't die. Um, and just do some night nooling up there. I, I want to get out of the wasteland. I mean, we've been in the wasteland for ever, and I'm just sick of the place. You know what I mean? Even though it supposedly has the best loot and everything, but um, I'm not even going to take that stuff. So, yeah, let's just get the hell out of here, and we'll go... Uh, do some night looting in the forest city and hit some fresh POIs. I'm not, it, it's not so much at this point either, you know, that I'm actually after top in loot. I'm more just after research data. So we can get that anywhere. So we might as well go into the forest biome uh, for that purpose. I just got to get out into a clear enough place where I can take off again. Yeah, that I sure I really wish this game had a are you sure you want to jump off your gyrocopter 200 feet up in the air? But no, it doesn't. It's just too easy to accidentally hit that button, you know? Um I don't know if we can take off from here or not. We can try it, I suppose. There we go. Okay, yep, so I'll meet you guys at the uh, northern, northeastern city. Keep your finger off the E key, old guy. Okay. So basically what I think we'll do is we'll just start here on... The, uh, where are we at? The south, uh, west end of town. And we'll just start looting away. Ooh, love the sound of that. Oh, uh, and we won't have to deal with wasteland critters. Um, this thing feels like it has a, a faster fire rate. Oh, you know what? I should probably take some of these. Just, you know, not a bad idea. Take another one. Love the sound of this thing, man. Oh, shit. Who's next? Yeah, I'm a fan of the shotgun. I love the the thumpity thump sound it has to it. Okay. Who's coming? Darling. Headless Darling. Headless Steve. How come Steve's the only zombie whose head pops off? You'd think by now they would have made all the zombies do that. I think he's the only zombie whose head pops off. Alright, let's see. What we're we we got a infection, so let's take one of those. 
We've got a sprained arm and an abrasion. Um, let's take one of these. We only got the crap beat out of us there, didn't we? And then we'll go back this way. In fact, this barn might be... Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll start at this house over here. We'll probably... I don't know if we'll hit every single building, but we'll be somewhat systematic, I think, about this, and we'll just kind of sweep this whole town. I mean, that would actually take a very long time, so we'll... I'm not sure if we'll actually do that, but we'll kind of maybe tentatively plan on doing that. Okay, so let's go into this house first. Uh, do I want that? I don't know. Come here, boat. Run the nuts. I just killed you. Bo's twin brother. Okay. If we, if we, like, do normal looting, which we probably will, because I can't help myself, we're definitely going to have to put some drop chests down. Repair kit. Sound like that spider zombo just bit the dust, but I don't know what killed him unless he fell on spikes or something. Okay. Oh shit. Rapacious Big Mama. Irradiated Rapacious Big Mama. We really, really, really need the research data. That goes downstairs. This floor collapses in here. There is a an irradiated Arlene. Okay. Triple tap. Okay, while he's doing his thing there. Um Let's do that. Oh, yeah, let's get our... Uh, oh, yeah, we'll take that. It's going to say get our crossbow bolts back. Break the door. Okay, um, let's do upstairs first, and then we'll do down. Ooh, there's a, that looks like a big mama foot, and there's a guy looking at us right through the door there. Who's coming? Ronnie McDonnie. It's a drop for us, dude. Okay, we'll take that. Close that door. Close that door. We're going to have some Zeeks pop out of there. And we have a Big Mama in here. Big Mama's foot.
trying to get him to fall downstairs. Oh shit. Go this way. Time for the big gun. Wasted. I'm just having too much fun with a shotgun. That's all there is to it. on top of him. Jeez, Big Mama. Irradiated Big Mama. You just won't give up, will you? She gave up. Okay. Anything in here? Sewing kits are always good. We can't go that way. Um, there might be some Zeeks in here. I don't remember. Uh, yep. Look at that. Double tap. I think we're going to have some Zeekies in here. Oh, maybe not. Up to the attic. That's a fat boat. What the hell? <laughs> He's crawling on all fours. Trying to get him to fall down in there. Come at me, brah. Oh, you know what? We should probably take one of these. And whilst we're at it, let's also take... Uh, let's take this. We'll get some nice health from that. What are you guys doing? Come on, man. Let's get this show on the road. I know I say that all the time, but good lord. Just absolutely insanely tough. Alright. Now let's go back up here. Nice. There's some research data there, and we'll take that stuff and sell it. A little bit of M. Yo Nish. Some more research data. Uh, tech Junkie. Gives 25% chance for regular and 50% chance for power attacks. No, yeah, we're not doing stun batons in this playthrough. You know, at some point I, I, I should do that, though, just because I've never really, like, seriously done them in this game. But we're, we don't have time to do that in this uh, in this playthrough. Not not with as, as long as it takes to level in Undead Legacy. Uh, so right now, we'll just get the research data for it. Okay. I should really check these because we can find books inside of here. And cans and glue, which we need. And oil, which we need. It's all useful stuff. It's basic stuff, but it's useful stuff, you know? Uh, okay. So I think that's it for up here. Let's head on back down this way. And we were going to go up into here. I had my actually actually had my first base in Alpha 20 in this POI. And we were up in the attic here. Or 
already hit that one, right? Yep. Some, I'm pretty sure there's something behind there. Or not. Oh, yeah, there is. It's our hidden room. Wrong weapon. Come on, minion leg. Secret stash. Hmm. Is that better than what we have? That's an A-level backpack. We have an... A D-level. Okay, so this gives 53.5 backpack space. This gives 84.8. That's a nice upgrade. We'll take it. Oh, there's, yeah, there's that Eliana's locket thingy. One of you guys were telling me about that in the comments once, and we could actually upgrade our armor plating on this, too. Cool, okay. Uh, that was a nice find, actually. Not bad, if you don't mind my saying so. Not bad at all. Did we check all of these boxes? I think we did. All right, I believe we're done with this house, except for the basement. And I believe there's an Edgar down here. Well, I don't know if it's an Edgar, but there's going to be a Zombo or three down here. Is it just you? This is where you fall through the floor. Huh. Okay. There's some stuff. I don't think there's anything significant over here. It's just uh, this and the corpse and the light. Okay. This is actually not a bad place to have a first base because you have that water source there. Okay, let's move on to the next house. check these too. There we go. We got a book. What the hell is that? A toy rocket. Okay. We got a toy rocket. That's exactly what I was hoping for. What? Next house. Zombo in there. Nope. Nine millimeter scrap pistol. There they are. Something behind here. Oops. We're definitely going through this house the wrong direction, but who cares? We're thirsty, are we? Let's have uh, some fresh water. And let's have some mineral water. I think this is the house that you normally come through, the garage. All right, 
Let's stay up, uh, up on the first floor here for the moment. Probably a zombie in there, maybe. Oh, I think there's, isn't there dogs in that room? Nice, except for, you know what? I don't care about those. We're going to scrap this and scrap that. More research data for us, baby. Uh, let's unlock this sucker. Uh, I don't know why I used a bobby pin instead of a lockpick, but we did. Might as well use this. Get it out of our inventory. Oh, we got more than one. There we go. Scrap that. Try that again. Scrap that. There we go. Then we could do it. Get our crossbow bolt back. Duffel bag here. All just basic stuff. No oh, shit, that's great. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ah! Lady! Okay, that got the blood going. I went to see my doctor t this morning my, for my annual checkup. And um, I'm in pretty good shape overall. My cholesterol is a little higher than she'd like it to be, so she wants me to quit eating all the things I like to eat. Not really. She didn't say quit, but, you know, cut back stuff to get the cholesterol down. But, um, you know, they take your blood pressure, right? And my blood pressure was good except for now it's not <laughs> that's the fat loots now we got a, a treasure map and some shoddy shells that's always good since we use quite a bit of them i haven't even looked to see what our natural shotgun uh skill is at the moment let's take a look at that shotguns uh, under skills and you you coming this way lady here, let's close this door for a second. Okay, so again, if we go look under skills and shotguns, we're at 70. Look at that. Um. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah, 70. There's still a long ways to go. That is, I mean, oh, geez, Louise. I've been using the shotgun in this game for months, and that's all the further along we are? This takes so damn long to level. Hold still. There we go. Where are you? Okay, let's get this uh, ammunition pile here. See if there's a wall safe behind this. There is not. Now, I think there's going to be some dudes down here as well. We've pretty much done this POI in the exact opposite order. Well, not the exact opposite order, but... Okay, there is... Let me get a little sneaky sneak off here. Anybody else? Okay, so I think this, yeah, that goes into a rec room. Definitely some Zeke's in here. Is that door closed? Yes, it does. Oh, shit. Is that everybody in this room? I think so. 
There's a secret here. More cans. That's good. We need them. That just goes up back to the kitchen where we just came from. Okay, so we don't need to go that way. There's a duffel bag in there. Oh, that was pretty good stuff. Uh, why don't we have some of this? We're still just a little bit on the thirsty side. That's the way out. We already came through here. They must be they must be upstairs. That car is not lootable. That suit or not suitcase, uh tool chest is not lootable. Okay. We are in the backyard of this house. He's down below. Yeah, fall downstairs. All right, cool. So we uh, got that house, a couple of houses done. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up here. And uh, we'll probably just pick up right where we left. Oh, shit. Uh, left in the next episode. And just keep kind of just randomly going through and looting this place. And continuing uh, with the main goal of continuing to look for resource data. Uh, don't forget, like I said, I might not get another ep oh, shit. episode out uh, to you. For the rest of this week, uh, if I if I have the time, I certainly will. But um, then we'll pick it back up again. Um, guys, I'm trying to do my outro, and you're you're just interfering here. Uh, we should be able to pick it back up again uh, towards the end of next week. Uh, also, want to just give a. Uh, an announcement that I'm also I'm gonna have to go out of town one more time for one more business trip, one more for this season, um, to Vegas, and that will be the first week in May. And then when I get back from that, then I can finally I'll finally be able to stay home um, for uh, until the fall, anyways. So it's just been a very very busy year for me in, uh, in terms of work and travel and stuff more than normal, but should be home you know throughout the the uh, entire summer and. You know, hopefully by that time, Alpha 21 will have come out. <laughs> I mean, you never know with this game. I'm sure it will by then. Um, and then, you know, we will start a new series on Alpha 21. Uh, we'll start with Vanilla first, and then after we go through Vanilla, like, you know, I usually do, we'll, we'll pick a mod and then do a mod uh, a few months after. Okay, so with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.